Before the video starts, consider clicking on the bell icon just next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like my vlogs, feel free to subscribe to VZ Racer Vlogs. Enjoy! Similarly to today's world where you can buy a luxury vehicle of any class, have you got the money? Luxury limousines of the communist regime were also available for those who could afford it. But then assortment wasn't as wide and definitely not as high tech, but that makes them interesting in their own way. Here's a selection of the most popular models from the Eastern Bloc. Gus M13 and M14 Chaika. They were two versions of the Chaika. The M13 was a 50s looking limo with a design copied from Americans and a boxy shape M14, which succeeded it with the same ZM Z13 engine as the old model. The M13 was still made for a couple of years alongside the M14, and Nikita Khrushchev actually preferred the Chaika over the more luxurious Zilkas. Zill 111, 114, 115 and 117. As mentioned previously, Zill is a major Russian automotive company which besides trucks and other utility vehicles also makes luxury executive cars for high class people, especially politicians. They were large and heavy which reasons the use of 6 litre up to 7.7 litre engines. Tatra 77 and 87. The Tatra 77 was introduced as the world's first truly aerodynamic production car. The 3 litre engine was good for about 60 horsepower, which was enough for a top speed of 90 miles per hour. The newer 87 model lost over 700 pounds, received more power, and with the VMAX of 100 miles per hour, it was one of the fastest cars of its time using only 75 horsepower. Gas M21 and M24 Volga. Both versions of the Volga may not be appealing until you find out that besides the 4 cylinder, the Chaika's V8 was also installed in these cars as well. Obviously, the 8 cylinder variants were not for everyone, mostly available for high class or needs of KGB. With the V8, the Volga suddenly had double the power. Tatra 603 and 613. A few years after the Tatra's 87's discontinuation, the T603 was shown to the world. The air-cooled V8 of 2.5 liters and 100 horsepower. You already know that stuff. What you may not know is its successor, the 613. It received a bigger 3.5 liter also air-cooled engine, which when equipped with a fuel injection could make up to 200 horsepower and reach over 140 miles per hour. Gas 12 Zim. The head design of the Gas 12 Zim was asked to copy either an American product or to create a new thing. Although he did choose the latter, as part of the rebadging program, Buick showed high support to this project. The car even had the Chrysler Flathead Thread 6.
ZIL 41047, the ZIL 4112R is the newest ZIL limo made until 2012, and just before that one, the 41047 was on the market. This model came after the 4104, and besides a few styling changes, it was the same car. It was in production for 17 years with 234 examples made. An interesting fact is that these older ZIL cars had only 3 speed automatic gearbox, which didn't really help the acceleration, even with that powerful engine.